How are you today? Good morning. I believe that this day is a glorious day for you because God has in stock for your life. I, I see them as fresh fragrance, newness of glory Amen. shall begin to emit from your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And all those identity of shame will disappear from your destiny Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you today that the hand of God will come upon your life. Amen. Even as this telecast goes on, on here right now, Amen. the hand of God will come upon your life Amen. and you will receive testimony Amen. through the name of Jesus Christ Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, use us for your glory Amen. to be a blessing to your people. Amen. This is a prayer program. Amen. Lord, cause the anointing for prayer to flow through us and through these cameras in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Listen, I want to know that it's never the plan of God for good things to be cut out of your life. It's never the plan of God. As a matter of, of fact, from the time that Adam and Eve sinned, the only plan God has is to restore you back to your original purpose. That's why God kept sending prophets and kept sending prophets until Jesus came. Finally, he died. He shed his blood so that you and I, we can once again gain access back into that image and likeness of God. So that you can gain access back into God's presence. So you are welcome into God's presence today. And I believe that as we are in his presence, you will obtain grace Amen. that will help you in the time of your need. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My daughter is there with me. She is gifted in the prophetic. And I trust that the Lord will use her for you Amen. as she leads us in prayer right now. Let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to worship the name of God. Today is another day and God has brought us to this day again. Let's thank him for the gift of life he has given us to be able to see this day in the land of the living. Lord, we thank you. <clears throat> we worship your name. We adore your name this morning. We thank you because this time last week we gathered, oh God. And we're here again today. Lord, thank you. 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 Lord, we thank you for keeping us, oh God. Since this month has begun, you have been with us. Lord, thank you for keeping us. We thank you for keeping our family. Thank you for preserving our life. We thank you because when we go out and come back in, oh God, you go with us and you come you and you bring us back home safely. Lord, we thank you because the same route that we, that we that we went through or we passed. Some people passed that same route and they died. But Lord, we thank you because you have kept us. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is God. He is Lord, He is Lord, Amen. He has risen from the dead, he is Lord. Every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is God. He is God. Jesus Christ is God. Lord, thank you for today. We give you glory because today you will speak to us. Thank you. 
and you will meet everyone at the point of their needs. Thank you. Lord, I thank you for everyone that is watching me thank right you. now. I thank you because you, God, you manifest yourself to them today again. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. As I was singing that song earlier on, the Holy Spirit revealed to me, said there is somebody that is watching. You have problem with your heart. Hmm. And what I, what, I, what I heard is that um, the doctors told you that you are not having sufficient blood flowing to your heart. So you are having heart condition or heart problem. I don't know what name the doctor has given you. Hmm. But I know that from today, the Lord is strengthening every, every, every vein in your, in your heart area. In the name of Jesus. And from today, you will be able to pump enough blood into Amen. your heart. That is what I know of. I don't, I don't care what the doctor has said, but I know that from today, every vein, every fiber, every muscle in your body, uh, it is receiving life. Amen. 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 It is receiving Amen. life. It is receiving Amen. life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that sudden pain that you feel other days, and the Lord has taken charge of your body. Hallelujah. And that pain has ceased. Amen. It will never return anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I know for a fact that when you go back Amen. to your doctor, the Lord will have finished the work. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to connect your faith to mine right now. And I am praying for you this morning that you receive total healing. Amen. Total healing. Amen. Total healing. Amen. Spirit of the living God, I want you to descend upon that person right now. Lord, take charge of their body. Take charge of their body. Amen. 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 Even as of right now, Lord, I want them to begin to feel your power entering their body right now. Lord, I pray that you will take charge and give them total healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, take charge and give them total healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, take charge and give them total healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, take charge and give them total Amen. healing. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, your heartbeat will be regular Amen. from now. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, enough blood will flow to your, you, uh, to your heart from now. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you believe it, you receive it. In the name of Jesus. God has done it and he will finalize everything he has started in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. The first prayer point that the Holy Spirit gave me this morning, he said that we should pray that the Lord will grant our heart desire in this month of February. I want you to pray. I don't know what your heart desire is. I don't know what you want God to do for you. But I want you to pray that the Lord will do that thing for you before this month run to an end. That's the prayer point I have for us right now. Lord, I pray that you will grant our heart desire. Lord, we ask this, this morning, oh God, that you will do for us what our heart desire, oh God. Lord, do for us what our heart desire. Lord, do for us what our heart desire. You know what we desperately want, oh God. You know what we desperately need, oh God. And we are praying, oh God, that this morning you will grant our heart desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are praying that this morning you will grant our heart desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are praying that this morning you will grant our heart desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord we, pray, Lord, we pray, we pray, Lord, 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 we pray that this morning, oh God, you will grant our heart desire. Lord, grant our heart desire. Lord, grant our heart desire. What we desperately need, what we desperately want from you, oh God. Lord, I pray that even as this month is running to an end, you will begin it in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you will begin the, 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 the testimony in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The next thing that the Holy Spirit told me to tell you, he said, everything that is dead in your life is receiving life today. Amen. What is dead in your life? I'll ask you. What is dead in your life? Is it your financial life that is dead or your spiritual life that is dead or your sight is dead or your ears is dead or your feet is dead or your hands, you can't use your hand anymore. I believe strongly that right now the power of the living God is entering your body and everything that is dead in your life is receiving life Amen. right now in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ the breath of God is coming upon you 
Amen. Uh, the breath of God is coming upon you. Amen. This breath of God is coming upon you. There's somebody Amen. watching me. You have problem with your legs. You have from uh, uh, specifically around your knee, your kneecap area. And whenever you try to stand or whenever you try to walk, there's always this pain that you feel. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I pray for you this morning that that pain will cease. Amen. 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 That pain that pain will cease. Amen. The pain was set there to, 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 to make you stagnated. And I, I, I deliver you from that force Amen. of stagnation. And without feet, we cannot move forward. We can't go to places that the Lord wants us to go to. And bro, from today, the pain that is in your feet, that is in your leg, that pain has ceased. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I want us to pray now and, and, and rebuke every force of stagnation. And the, the the enemy does not want you to move forward. And he will rather you stay in that same spot and just keep going in a circle. And not fulfill the promise that God has for you. I want you to pray and come against every, every, every spirit of stagnation. Pray that from today, from today, from today, your feet will receive life. And from today, you will begin to move. You will begin to progress. You will begin to move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to pray and come against every force of stagnation, every spirit of stagnation. And pray and pray that your feet will receive life. Your feet will receive life. Your, your feet will receive life. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will move. Move, you will progress in this year in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is keeping you stagnated yes from today from today from today you are free 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 from every force of stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ you are free from every force of stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ you are free from every force of stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ you are free from every force of stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ from today you will prosper. Yes. From today, you will prosper. Amen. And you have said it in your family, mm. or wherever they have said it, mm. or wherever they have gathered and said, ah, you know, concerning the destiny of this woman, concerning the destiny of this man, and no, nothing good will come out of it. She, she cannot progress, she cannot prosper. They have said it, but that's not what God has for you. That's not what God has said concerning your destiny. That's not what God has said concerning your glory. That's not what God has said concerning your life. The Lord said he is going to ex 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 expand your coast, enlarge Amen. your coast Amen. in this year. And I pray for you, everyone that is watching me right now, in this year, 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 prosperity that you have never received before in your life, the Lord will give it to you. 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 They have said it that, eh, no, she cannot go above every other person. What I see and what I'm hearing is more like in the family, they have said, oh, it's, it's looking like a glory, a glory, oh my tire, you glory, bobo, walo. Yes, what I see is that your glory will manifest or your glory will shine more than every other person's glory. And now they have now kind of tampered with your glory. And they want all of you to be in the same level. If they, they don't buy house, you, you cannot buy house. But that's not possible. They have said that. But I'm praying for you today that in the name of Jesus Christ, you will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will prosper. Amen. You will fulfill your Amen. destiny in the land of Amen. the living. Wherever God wants to take you to, the Lord will take you there. Amen. And and your glory will shine. Hallelujah. 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 And they have said it that no, she Thank cannot you. buy a house. When will we have not bought our house? The Lord will give you your space Amen. in this year. And that's what I hear. Are you looking for house or do you desire that you want a home in this year? I believe strongly. The Lord has said it and I know that whatever he has said, it will come to pass. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving you your space. In this year. If you believe it, you receive it. That's Amen. the only secret. If you believe Amen. this word, you receive it. In Amen. this year, in Amen. this year, in this Amen. year, the Lord will set your feet Amen. on a new ground. Uh, the ground that is meant for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for your word. We give you glory. We thank you because in this year, 2022, God, you will give us prosperity that no one has seen of. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Because in this year again, Lord, there will be a bunch of testimonies Thank in our you, life. Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Welcome back in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to watch the testimony of this woman. She's having problem with her mind. She's having this problem of negative, compulsive thinking. Mm -hmm. And it's been demonically initiated. 
But God set her free when I prayed with her. And I trust that as we come back from that testimony. I'm going to share a few words with you and I'm going to pray with you. And I trust that the God that delivered her will deliver you. Amen. So let's go to the testimony now and I'll be back in Jesus' name. Concerning your thoughts, the Bible says that, you know, the scripture tells us that even though we walk in the flesh, we do not make our walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, we're a child of God, right? The weapons of your warfare. It's not kind of. That means you have a weapon. I'm still going to let you understand. I'm going to pray with you, but the truth is, 80% of the world, they're going to do it. After you cast out the devils, Jesus said, when you cast out the devils, the devil will give you the person and go to a bad place to seek rest. You won't find a place, they want to come back. So when the negative thought wants to come back, tell them that thought out. You don't belong to me. And then you replace it with the, with the thought of the word of God. We thought of the good things that God has done for you, done for your family, the things you are expecting God to do. Do you understand? Because the Bible says that the weapon of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to pull down strongholds and cast down every imagination that does not line up with the word of God. I try to paraphrase. So I take authority over every demonic spirit. Controlling your mind. You evil you foul spirit you are not of God yeah, 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 I command you now in the name of Jesus lose your grip over her mind now in the name of Jesus I command you out of her life now yeah, yeah, yeah Lord I thank you I thank you, I thank you, I thank you I feel the power of God go through your body right now I, thank, I set you free I set you free I set you free the struggle of evil thoughts in your life, I cause it. In the name of Jesus, I command you to up. Yeah, root it up. In the name of Jesus, Lord, the grace to think positively, the grace to think biblically. The Bible says, Philippians chapter four verse six, anything that is good, think on them. Lord, I release that grace for that scripture upon her life. That from this day, she will begin to be predominantly occupied with positive thoughts, scriptural thoughts. Godly thoughts in the name of Jesus. You this evil spirit will not come back in Jesus' name. You know, I'm gonna start praying with you. I saw what looks like I, I, I can't describe, but looks like a monkey, but the hands and the legs are longer than another monkey. You know, I just saw it, and I know that that's the devil controlling your mind. And as I pray, the power of God begins to fall. The devil will come back in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you with this before I was born again. I was always someone that was obsessed by negative thinking. I, I, if, I, if I'm here right now, I will start thinking that the building will collapse on me. And the thought will be so strong that I will start shivering. I will become really afraid. When I'm at a bus stop, the thoughts will become that the car will come and hit me. And it is so surreal. You understand now? That's how far Satan has, you know, perverted my thinking. But when the Lord helped me, I became born again, I came to feel my, my heart in the word of God, I simply replaced the negative thoughts with the positive thoughts. And in the name of Jesus, I release the same place upon you. Welcome back. Now, today is your day. You have a struggle of negative thoughts in your life. The Lord God is setting you free today. Amen. If I what God wants me to tell you is that He's going to give you a new testimony. Amen. That will make your life to become a wonder to people around you. Amen. I just want to share just one scripture for you. And that is in the, in, in the book of John. Let's go to that scripture. In the book of John. John chapter 9 from, from verse 1. You know there's a particular man that was born blind. And as Jesus passed by, He saw a man which was, which was blind from his birth. Verse 2 now. <clears throat> and his disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, Neither has this man sinned, nor his parents. But one thing is sure, but that the work of God should be made manifest in him. Whatever you have been going through, I'm not here to apportion blame. It is Satan that has been using people against you. They are ganging up against you. But today the hand of God is scattering them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
They are guarding, ganging up against you. Mm. But today, the hand of God is scattering them. Amen. Every opposition is being scattered. Amen. And you will see the testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, Jesus said, I must walk the walk of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh where no man can walk. In other words, instead of apportioning blame of where did the problem come from, you know that's what many of us, that's why our problem persists. Instead of seeking for solution, we want to seek for who in our family that is the root cause of the problem. Satan is the root cause of your problem. He may use people, but Satan is the root cause. And the best thing for you to do is to deal with the spirit, not with the people that Satan is using. Mm -hmm. Jesus said in verse 5, As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. And look at what he said again in verse 6. And when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spirit. And he anointed the eyes of the, of the, of the blind man with the clay. And then he said to him, Go, wash in the pool Siloam, which is by interpretation said. And the Bible says, And he went his way, therefore, and washed and come back saying, Look at me. Everything that men have said can never come to pass in your life for good. Mm -hmm. uh, that embargo that the enemy has placed upon your destiny, I destroy it. Amen. I cancel it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. What men have said cannot be done. I decree today the power of God will come upon those things and there shall be performance from now Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes, those things that men say is impossible. Mm. There's nothing too difficult for the Lord. Mm. The Bible says that this man went, did what the Lord asked him to do, and he came back saying, mm. I ask today that in the name of Jesus, the testimony that will make your life to be like wonder mm. before men. Mm. I pray that in the name of Jesus, the Lord God will do it for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the testimony of that woman that you watch, she was always having these negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. And it was so strong. When I was praying for her, I actually saw a demonic spirit, like mo a monkey, but with very extended long hands around her head. And as I prayed with her, that, that monkey dropped off and left the, the, the hall. And she was free instantly. I pray for everyone that are under some kind of addiction right now. Mm -hmm. some, somebody is watching me. You are addicted to, to sex, mm -hmm. fornication. Uh, you don't want to do it, but it's like you, you are powerless. I rebuke that spirit of adultery over your life right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I set you free from that hindrance from the kingdom of hell. Amen. You know the reason why that thing is dangerous? Mm. The Bible says, He that sleep with an harlot is one with her. Mm. And, you know, men of God have started saying that it has been... It has been scientifically proven that every time you sleep with somebody, you carry their problem. So the people you have been sleeping with and the problem you have been carrying because you have been mixing your blood with their blood, that's why your life is full of junk and a lot of trouble. But this day, I set you free. Amen. From all those entanglements, from all those shackles of the devil, I set you free. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ, I command that the hand of God for deliverance will come upon your life from now Amen. and that you'll be made whole. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you that has problem with one of your eyes, Amen. touch that eyes right now. You feel a warm glow, something like warm, like, as if there's a warm water go through that eye because the hand of God just touched you. Amen. You are made whole right now. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Someone is watching, you are always having bad dreams, bad dreams. Mm. I break that yoke from off your neck. Amen. I destroy that strong stronghold in your Amen. life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the stronghold of bad dreams, Amen. I destroy them today. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And amen. If you have not given your life to Jesus, you need to give your life to Jesus so that you can have a covenant relationship with God. You can call the phone number on the screen so that I can pray with you on how to give your life to Jesus. It's very, very important. 
And do you have sickness in your body, pains, or you have anyone around you, maybe your friends, your family member, who are demonically oppressed and they have done everything, but it's just like that one with the issue of blood. The problem refused to go. Listen, the Bible says, How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing those who are oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. He has given me an anointing and he has given me a mandate to set you free. That's why we have decided to set out the first Sunday of every month to be our miracle and anointing service day. Every first Sunday by 10 a.m. in our church auditorium. Just come. Trust God for your healing. Trust God for your deliverance. And God will reach out to you and do you good. Mm -hmm. The address of our church is Grace Ministries International 11214 Plainfield Street by West Belfort, Suit D. Houston, Texas 77031. Now, are you a pastor, pastor's wife, deacon, deaconess, elders, elder's wife, or you just love to pray? Join us every third Saturday of the month. Mm -hmm. The Lord said to me that we, as, you, as you gather the ministers of God together for us to be praying together once in a month, at least for now, every third Saturday by 12 o'clock is between 12 and 1.30. Let's come together. I call it Iron Sharpened Iron Ministers Prayer Meeting. God said to me that when we come together, the, the angel of each of us who are there, we begin to walk in, 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 in unison with other angels mm -hmm. to bring testimony into the life of everyone that will always be available. Mm -hmm. So, Saturday, the third Saturday of this month, by 12 o'clock, join us, and I believe that God will do a great thing in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you really want God to use you? Do you want to accomplish divine purpose? This book will help you. You know, there's a saying that if you want to hide a secret from an African man, put it in a book. Don't let that be your, your own portion. This book, Vision Fulfillment, now it's your turn. It's a book that God asked me to write so that you can gain access into how to identify the vision of God for your life, the gifts and the talent of God, and how to deploy them for the purpose of being a blessing to other believers and being used by God mightily. Pastor, pastor's wife, Order it for your ministers and leaders. The commercial price of the book is $15 and to send it anywhere, I think in the U.S., is about $7.